Good day. Today, I'm going to discuss the topic on the sixth week of general mathematics for the second quarter, which is business loan and consumer loan. So let's define first the two terms. In business loan, it is a kind of loan that is used to either start a business, to expand a business, or anything related to business. For consumer loan, it is a kind of loan that is used for personal purposes like medical care, education, or buying or building your own house. So let's have an example. Mr. Agustin plans to have his own barbershop. He wants to borrow some money from a bank for him to start building his own barbershop. What kind of loan will Mr. Agustin apply? So what do you think? Yes. It is a business loan. So let's, ha let's have another. Glenda decided to purchase a car and applied for a car loan worth 700,000 pesos. What kind of loan did she apply? So what do you think? Yes, it is a consumer loan. So, I already distinguished the differences between the two loans and had an example. So now, let's um, have amortization and mortgage so let's um, define some key terms for this topic amortization it is a meth method of paying a loan mortgage it is a loan that is secured by collateral co uh, co uh, collateral and what is collateral it is an asset that secure a loan for example real estate property, vehicle, or any property that has a good value. Outstanding balance. It is the remaining debt at a sp uh, specified time. So it is the re um, remaining amount after sp uh, a specific time. Uh, or it is the uh, remaining amount to be paid. So we also have a chattel mortgage. It is a kind of mortgage on a movable property such car. So let's have uh, some computation of amortization or mortgage. So, Mr. Chan borrowed 1 million pesos for the expansion of, of his business. The effective rate of interest is 7%. The loan is to be paid in full after 2 years. How much is to be paid after 2 years? So for this, we have the uh, formula which is related to compound or compound interest. So F, which is the final value, is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N, wherein P is the borrowed amount. I is the interest rate and N is the time. So let's have or let's extract the given. P is 1 million, I is 7% or 0 0.07 and N is equal to 2. So substituting the given to the formula, so we have the final value of 1,144,900. So therefore, Mr. Chan, she, um, will pay in full uh, 1,044,900 after 2 years. So let's have another. Kyla borrowed 1,200,000 for the purchase of a car. If her payment is 31,000 on a 5-year mortgage, find the total amount of interest. So here, we're, go we're going to take the interest. So for the formula, we have I to be the interest is equal to RMT minus P wherein R is uh, wherein P is the borrowed amount R is the monthly payment M is period and T is time okay so let's extract some given so P is 1,200,000 thousand R is 31,000 M is 12 and T is 5 Okay, substituting all the uh, given to the equation, so we have uh, the interest of 660,000 pesos. 
Okay, multiplying 31,000 times 12 times 5, in, uh, which is 1,860,000. Subtract, uh, then subtract 1,200,000. So, we have 660,000. So, that is the total amount of interest. So, next, we have, re uh, we have this example. If a house is sold for 3 million pesos and the bank requires 20% down payment, find the amount of mortgage. Okay. So, here, uh, we're going to take the mortgage out of the given. So, for this, we have, uh, let's note that in this problem, mortgage amount or the amount of mortgage is the difference between the amount or the cost and the down payment. Okay, so we have P to be uh, 3 million and 20% is the I, okay, which is 0.2. So, M, which the mortgage, is equal to P times 1 minus I is equal to 3 million times the difference between 1 and 0 0.02. So, we have 3 million times 0 0.8, which is 200, uh, 2 million and 400,000 pesos. Okay? So, the amount of mortgage or the mortgage amount is 2,400,000. Okay? So, what, um, how much do you think is the down payment? So, what is the 20% of 3 million? Yes, it is 600,000. So, simply, that is the, uh, uh, that is for the amount of mortgage. We're in this situation. Okay, so let's have another example. Miss Gail bought a car. After paying the down payment, the amount of the loan is all, uh, is now 400,000 pesos with an interest rate of 9% compounded monthly. The term of the loan is 3 years. How much is the monthly payment? So in this problem, we're going to uh, we're going to solve for the monthly payment. Or or what is your uh, what uh, how much you're going to pay monthly? So we have the formula P all over 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus um, the quotient between i and m quantity uh, raised to negative m times t all over i over m so when t is the valid amount i is the interest rate and m is the compounding period and t is a term or time okay so we have uh, oh, so let, let's extract the, uh, the given so we have P is equal to 400, I is 9% or 0.09, M is 12, wherein it states that it's compounded monthly, and time or term is 3 years. So here we have the term of term of the loan, which is 3 years. So these are the given. So let's substitute all the given to the formula. So we have 400,000 all over 1 minus the quantity of uh, between or uh, the sum of 1 and the quotient of 0 0.09 over 12 raised to negative 12 times 3 all over 0 0.09 over 12 which is equal to 400,000 all over 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to 36 all over 0 0.075, which is 12,719.89. So, Miss Gail will pay 12,719.89 every month for 3 years. So, that is the monthly payment, 12,719.89. So let's have another example. Mrs. D borrowed some money from a bank that offers interest rate of 12% compounded monthly. Her monthly amortization for 5 years is 11,122 uh, pesos. Point 22. How much is the outstanding balance after the 12th payment? So here, we're going to take the outstanding balance or the balance 
or all the amount or the re remaining amount to be paid after 12 after the 12 payment so here mrs d already paid 12 uh uh 12 uh eleven thousand one hundred twenty two point twenty two so um here we're going to uh, we're going to solve for the outstanding balance or the remaining amount to be paid okay so let's have the formula to be r times the uh, quantity uh, times the uh, difference between one and the quantity one plus i over m raised to negative negative of the uh, difference between mt minus k all over i over m so here there is similarity to annuity just a similar thing okay so um so let's define for each notation r is the monthly payment i is the interest rate m is the compounding period t is the term or the time k is a number of time paid okay so let let's extract the uh, given so r is 11122.22 i is 12 percent or 0 0.12 m is 12 which is um stated it is compounded monthly k is 12 where, wherein it says it's a 12 month okay uh, the 12 payment okay t is five five years or 60 months after extracting this given so let's substitute to the formula so we have here okay substituting all the given okay So, do you have any question? Okay. So, the question is how much is outstanding balance after the 12, 12 month? Okay. So, here, um, the outstanding balance is 422,354.73. So, this is the amount to be paid after the 12 month. Okay. So, do you have any question? If none, so this, uh, this is the final uh, topic for the week. for the week for the sixth week of general mathematics for the second quarter. Thank you and good luck.